All right, in this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at an example where you may want to use apex.submit from the JavaScript API uh, to do some advanced functionality in your application. In this particular case, we're going to have a button up here. This button is not live uh, that when pressed will search through our resumes down here. Um, but when it executes, it's going to leverage uh, the search term in this field. Now, this search term will need to run, you know, a different type of search based on the syntax entered, right? So if it has a question mark in front of the term, the term it could be a fuzzy search or a dollar sign a stem or an exclamation point a sound X search. So, so how can we do that, right? Um, well, to do that, we're going to take a look at our application. Uh, we can see here we've got our button. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and create a new dynamic action on the button. And we'll go ahead and call it submit full text search. All right. And then we're going to create a true action over here. Uh, and this action is going to be to execute some JavaScript code. So, and we're going to go ahead and open this window. I've got my code over here in Atom. So let me take a look at, at you know when and why we may want to use this. So in this particular case, uh, we're going to first uh, get the value uh, that was typed into the user in the field. So we're going to go out here uh, to our application and look in search search and resumes. This is that, that particular field. Um, and we're going to pull that into the query term. Uh, then leveraging JavaScript, we're going to look at the, for the first character. And if the first character contains one of our key fields, uh, we're going to set the query type variable to the type of search that it is. All right, uh, down here then, uh, we're going to do a couple things. Uh, this is our Apex submit. This is a, essentially, you know, when the submit button is pressed, what is it going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set uh, the other variables on the page to null. So we've got, you'll notice here, two forms on the page. We'll make sure all of these are, are nulled out uh, on submit. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set uh, both the, the P1 query doc uh, item attribute to the query term up here at the top. Uh, and we're going to set the search type to what we figured out based on our logic. Uh, we're going to turn show wait on true. So we're going to wait for this to finish uh, and we'll, we'll validate. So let's go ahead and grab this code. Go ahead and drop it in. I'm going to fire on true. So I'll hit save. All right, then if I go back here, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. Now, uh, let's go ahead and type in Java to start with. So this should, uh, in our code, do a full text search. And we can see full text. So you might be saying, well, how did you get the text to appear there on the top? Uh, what we did was we went down here, uh, and we can see uh, we set this to display the item attribute with the syntax you see here. Uh, now let's test it again. Let's see, make sure it works. So... This should execute, I believe, a sound X. There we go. So, um, so for me, um, this is really a good example of where you can leverage kind of JavaScript and the submit button in a dynamic action so that you can kind of do some advanced logic, albeit simple in this case, um, on, on your submit action uh, and then fire it over to a report.